Welcome to Trending Places today we will showcase you about Tundra region. Tundra is a type of biome in physical geography where tree growth is hampered by low temperatures and short growing seasons. The term Tundra is derived from the Kildan Sami word Tenda, which means uplands or treeless mountain tract. Tundra habitats are treeless places found in the Arctic and on mountain peaks where the environment is cold, windy, and rainfall is scarce. Summer brings bursts of wildflowers to the tundra areas, which are blanketed in snow for much of the year. Winter and summer are the two main seasons in the tundra climate. Because the transition seasons are so brief, they are not as well defined as fall and spring in other areas. Summers endure about two months on average. The winters are often bitterly cold, but the summers can be rather mild. Winters in the tundra are long, dark, and cold with average temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius for 6 to 10 months of the year. Because of the extreme cold, there is a layer of permanently frozen ground beneath the surface known as permafrost. Some of the famous animals seen in tundra includes Grizzlies can be found in the tundras of Alaska and Northern Canada. They are classified as a brown bear subspecies. The majority of grizzly bears may be found in western North America forests. Mountains, meadows, and valleys are all possible habitats for grizzly bears. Polar bears are perhaps the best known representatives of the Earth's cold tundra regions. These bears live on ice and snow, but that's not an issue because they've devised some ingenious ways to keep warm. A dense, thick undercoat of fur is protected by an outer coat of long guard hairs that stay together when wet. The Arctic ground squirrel is a ground squirrel species that can be found in the Arctic and Subarctic regions of North America and Asia. People in Alaska, particularly those living near the Aleutian Islands, refer to them as Parker squirrels, owing to the fact that their fur is suitable for Parker ruffs and apparel. The tundra swan is a tiny galactic swan. Buick swan of the Palearctic and the whistling swan proper of the Nearctic are normally considered conspecific. However, they are sometimes separated into two species, Buick swan of the Palearctic and the whistling swan proper of the Nearctic. Tundra swans caught by facing each other and shouting loudly while expanding and quivering their wings. In the water, mating takes place. The female lays three to five creamy white eggs, sometimes as many as seven. She spends the majority of her time brooding her clutch. The male broods only when she is not around. Reindeer sometimes known as caribou in North America, is a circumpolar deer species native to Northern Europe, Siberia, and North America's Arctic, Subarctic, Tundra, Boreal, and mountainous regions, for meat, hides, antlers, milk, and transportation. Numerous Arctic and Subarctic peoples, such as the Duhala, hunt wild reindeer and herd semi-domesticated reindeer, for millennia, 
the Sami people sup, have relied on reindeer herding and fishing. Although dog sledding may have happened in the past, archaeological evidence dates it to about 4,000 years ago. Human residence and survival in the Arctic, according to some anthropologists, would not have been conceivable without sled dogs. Dog sledding was originated by native and Inuit peoples in the northern areas of contemporary Canada. According to archaeologists, and it quickly spread throughout the region. Dog sleds in the past did not look like dog sleds of today. It was usually simply a single dog carrying limited cargo usually firewood and other supplies rather than a big sled towed by many dogs. Elk are not native to the tundra, but they do migrate to the alpine tundras of North America to give birth in the summer. Their antlers are skinnier and have a smaller span than those of caribou, reindeer, and moose, but they are still rather tall. The Inuit's traditional lifestyle is tailored to extreme climatic circumstances, hunting and trapping, as well as the creation of fur gear for survival, are crucial skills for survival. In the Canadian Arctic and Greenland, Inuit, sometimes known as Eskimos, live. They make up the majority of people that live in tundras. They hunt caribou, seals, whales, and other marine mammals near the shore, fish. Hope you like the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe keep watching.